Now let's talk about how to solve a problem where we are expected to find the missing number in a multiplication and division problem. Here the problem says 497 divided by some number times 2 will equal 142. Now knowing order of operations, we know that we're going to move from the left to the right when we're doing multiplication and division. The first operation we see here is our division, so that would be the first operation we would do. And then whatever the answer is of 497 divided by our number that's going to fill in this blank, at the end we're going to multiply it by 2. This means that as we're working backwards to try to figure out what that number is, we can actually start by dividing both sides by 2. So let's divide by 2 and divide by 2. Here our 2's will cancel out, and on this side we have 142 divided by 2 will equal 71. That means that 497 divided by whatever our number is will equal 71. Now, understanding division, we know that if 497 divided by some number is equal to 71, then 497 divided by 71 has to also be equal to that same number. So what's 497 divided by 71? It's equal to 7. That means that we can fill in our original blank with a 7. 497 divided by 7 is equal to 71 times 2 is equal to 142. So our correct answer is 7.